The Choctaw people are one of the largest Native American nations of the Southeast, originally living in what is now Mississippi, Alabama, and Louisiana. Known for their strong agricultural traditions, they cultivated corn, beans, and squash, and developed thriving villages connected by trade and kinship networks. Their society was matrilineal, with lineage and inheritance passing through the mother's line, and spiritual beliefs centered on balance with the natural world. When Europeans and later Americans entered their lands, the Choctaw engaged in both diplomacy and trade. They allied with the French, Spanish, and later the United States, but this relationship often turned against them as American settlers pushed westward. The Treaty of Dancing Rabbit Creek in 1830 forced the Choctaw to cede millions of acres of land, and many were removed along the Trail of Tears to Indian Territory. However, some Choctaws resisted removal and stayed in Mississippi, eventually forming what is today the Mississippi Band of Choctaw Indians. For this video, I gathered the raw DNA of a modern Mississippi Choctaw male. He is a descendant of the Choctaw who stayed in Appalachia. FST analysis reveals that the closest modern populations to him are indigenous Mexicans and various East Eurasians such as Siberian Tatars or Koryaks. A Kpatam model reveals that this sample can be modeled with 58% first wave Amerindian and 42% Beringian ancestry. All Native Americans in the United States and Canada can be seen as a mixture of first wave Amerindians, who have affinities to Southern and Central Americans, with the Beringians, who have affinities to modern East Siberians. Another Cuban model finds 40% ancient North Eurasian and 60% ancient Northeast Asian admixture in this sample. The final Cuban model I've made finds 32% West Eurasian and 68% East Eurasian admixture in this sample. I ran this sample through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. He was predicted to have dark brown eyes, black hair, light brown skin, straight hair, and a snub nose shape. He was predicted to be a warrior, meaning to have quicker dopamine reuptake and lower dopamine levels, to have higher D2 receptor site availability, intermediate odds of autism, intermediate empathy, higher odds of epithelial cancers, high odds of autoimmune disease, intermediate odds of obesity, and blood type O. He scored particularly high for odds of hemoglobin E disease, rheumatoid arthritis, bipolar type 2, type 1 diabetes, prostate cancer, and testicular cancer. He scored low for odds of gout, pros, stroke, male pattern baldness, type 2 diabetes, glioma, thyroid cancer, and polycythemia vera. He carried rare risk variants for spina bifida. With my beta calc tool, he scored high for odds of alcoholism, bipolar disorder type 1, depression, hypertension, obesity, Parkinson's disease, skin cancer, and type 1 diabetes. He scored low for odds of anxiety disorder, breast cancer, coronary artery disease, mental disorders, ovarian cancer, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. Links to purchase my tools and services will be in the description of the video.